basically what our lab does is to use chemical tools and approaches to investigate biomedically relevant problems. Um, I think we all, many of us recognize that we're sort of in a biological revolution now in a way that 100 years ago we were sort of in a physics revolution with quantum physics and relativity. Um, so we have a tremendous explosion in information about the gene sequences and about how um, uh, epidemiologically more and more people are getting disease. But what we'd really like to do is, is to be able to come up and take advantage of this information with new therapeutic agents, new drugs. And so our lab is about trying to understand the processes well enough that we could design compounds, small molecules, uh, or protein drugs that will essentially be useful in, 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 in treatment. Uh, and much of what we study are the so-called proteins. Uh, uh, so uh, many people think of proteins as things that you eat. Um, we think of them as, as the sort of ultimate output of a gene. Um, for those who are in the legal profession, uh, DNA could be thought of as the partner and protein is the associate, it does the work. Uh, and so it really carries out the functions uh, of cellular processes and how these proteins work, how they're chemically modified, um, and whether those modifications induced by chemistry then can themselves be exploited as drug targets is what we're trying to understand and explore.